So now let's get our hands dirty and begin to do something where we actually recognize and do something with perfect graphs. So I need a definition. Anytime you have a family of sets, any family of sets, you can associate with this family an intersection graph. You make a vertex for every set, and then you make two vertices adjacent when the sets intersect. So here I've shown the intersection graph of a family of sets. Uh, and as usual, I've been selectively lazy, so I have omitted the squiggles and the commas. Is there a question? Yeah. I'm a little bit confused about the definition of a perfect graph. Okay, a graph is perfect if its chromatic number is the maximum clique size, and that property holds for every induced subgraph. All right, so I have a family of sets, and then it's an index family. So that, what that means is that it's OK to have the same set in there more than once. So what would, it, what would it be if I have a set, and I have another set in the family that's the same set? Well, then they intersect. And anybody that's a neighbor of one is a neighbor of the other. That's all it means. And you might think, you know, why would you want to do that? Well, think of uh, something like this. Uh, an intersection graph, uh, people have requirements. I need a room. I need a room for a meeting. And so give, give me the time slot that you need. Well, you, maybe you need a meeting at the same time he needs a meeting. Exactly at the same time. You need one from 9 to 10. He needs one from 9 to 10. Well, then, that's, you have a set. He has a set. But they're the same set. But they're different. You know, I can't schedule you and, and, and say, I've already scheduled him. No, I've got I, I to pay attention to the two separate ones. So having identical sets in the collection is fine. Now, I don't have that in this case, but, but you could. Now, the notion of an intersection graph seems uh, moderately interesting. See if you can take a minute and convince yourself of this elementary fact, which is actually one of the exercises in the book. Every graph is an intersection graph. If I give you a graph, you can associate with each vertex a set so that two vertices are adjacent in the graph if and only if the sets that you have cooked up for them intersect. Take a minute and see if you can do that. As usual, feel free to talk to anybody. Anybody have an explanation? Yeah? Simply by assigning each vertex <coughs> a set consisting of its, of the edges, its, or the points it's connected to, or point B, would you be able to assign it a set B, A, D, C? You may not be able to hear what she's saying. Let me try to repeat it. She said, can't you just assign to every vertex 
its set of edges, its set of neighbors, the edges incident with it. I'd like to modify her suggestion just with one little additional detail. Now, what I've shown, it's a small graph, admittedly. This is not very challenging, but the algorithm that I'm going to give you applies for any graph. So here's the little graph. Now, what we want to do is design to every vertex a set. And we want to do it in a way that two vertices are adjacent if and only if their sets overlap. So what I'd like to do is to assign to this one, I'm going to modify your suggestion ever so slightly. I'm going to put the edges incident with it, so edges 1 and 4. Then I'm going to put in the vertex A. And all that does is that kind of is a distinguishing quality. Okay, now, is that, is that clear what I'm doing? Do that for every vertex. And that works. Now, two sets overlap exactly when the corresponding vertices are adjacent. So there's nothing special about intersection graphs. They're universal. So what's interesting, then, is to say intersection graphs of what? All right, now, think about this. What about intersection graphs of circles in the plane? So I have the plane, and I have a circle. Is it ever of interest to worry about when one circle overlaps another one? comes up all the time. How many channel fours do you know of? You see the problem? Yeah. Channel four on TV. Any city of any size has got a channel four. How close can you put your channel fours? Well, not too close. You can't put one in downtown Atlanta and one in Alpharetta, but you probably can in, in Atlanta and Augusta. Now, if there's growth between Atlanta and Augusta, maybe you, maybe you better not put a Channel 4 in there. So the idea that you have a broadcast tower and you worry about whether or not these things overlap that's important. What about cell telephones? What's important there? Coverage. Coverage. Now you don't care about whether or not they overlap. It's whether every point on the planet is covered by a broadcast tower. Okay. Broadcast towers have different heights. They have different signal strengths. But now you want to get the most possible coverage by your towers. So intersection graphs and these things come up all the time. And not just for circles, come up for lots and lots of other things.